Hello everybody, this is Nick speaking. Welcome back to EU4. Today we are going to actually take our true venture into the land of Aquinu. And as I believe you heard in the episode 0 I posted a few weeks ago of all the bloopers and all that kind of stuff, well, we had some not so successful runs over here and I th went back to the drawing board while my mic was broken and all that kind of stuff was going on and basically did a few more test runs and I think I have the plan down now so we're gonna start here we're gonna be able to get these two guys and then Ottomans and QQ will probably both decide they need to kill us so yeah that's a big problem so I found that it's fairly easy to befriend a few people, mainly one, Mamluks, two, Golden Horde, and a lot of times we can get, like, depending on who rivals end up being, we can possibly get the Timurids as well, but that one's not guaranteed. If not, we can hope that Persia spawns and we can usually befriend them, so those are kind of going to be my three to help me work on this stuff over here and hopefully that works for us so obviously first off we're going to be playing Akuyunlu which I'll just review everything again we got we're a kingdom in the nomadic tech group and we're a Sunni nation and obviously a sultanate which gives us these modifiers some extra looting speed extra diplom well the diplomat and that stuff some more manpower more land force limit and we start off with a 232 and our heir which is the most awesome heir in the world because he has the best pips ever like i mean the i think the only way to get a better general would be to like almost get like a perfect one so that's kind of awesome now one thing i do want to do is focus admin right away just so we can get up to that tech and try to start taking the ideas so we can reform and as our horde ideas, we get to start off with aggress less aggressive expansion, less years of separatism. We get, for our first idea, land less land attrition. Second idea, more cavalry combat, land maintenance, leader shock, core creation cost, brand power speed, manpower modifier, and cheaper stab. So, pretty good ideas, actually. I mean, they're just the generic horde ideas, but that's fine, and... We do only have three provinces, all three are in different states, which eh, I'm not too sure about how that one works out, but 29 development's pretty good, and the fort, we have a fort level 3 in our capital, however, that's not going to last for long because that takes up too much money and we're going to have to delete it right away. So, I think without further ado, let's actually get into the game. We're going to do an Iron Man game here, and there we go. And yeah, as you can, oh, I, well, I overrode it multiple times, but yep, we're just gonna basically, or I guess that was the last Iron Man we attempted, but yeah, you can see we got other saves here, so that's kind of what was going on, and we'll just, you know, overwrite that one and start the new one here as far as everything goes, so all right. Let's let the game load up here for just a little bit, and come on, you can do it. I have confidence in you. Mm -hmm. All right, there we go. We are in. So right away, let's see. For rivals, it looks like we got Georgia, Dolkadur, and Trebizond all rivaling us, so I don't see any reason why we wouldn't rival all three of them, so that's what I'm going to do here just to start us off, rival all three of those guys. Well, we're going to improve relations with Mamluks anyway, so we might as well do that, and we'll take the National Unrest. Now, Mamluks, yeah, you guys start rival the Timurids, so we can't actually get Timurids in our alliance network, but... That doesn't seem to change too much, and at some point, if Mamluks do get a little bit of damage, we are going to be able to 
you know, switch over and make Timurids our allies, so it's not too bad. And as far as that, we start improving relations with them. We'll start improving relations up here with the Golden Horde as well, and yeah, I got those two guys ready to go. I deleted the fort here, as I said I would, and let's switch over to Admin Focus. Have four years until we're able to use our air for anything, but that's not that big of a deal, so let's see what we get for our leaders right now, because we can... Our king is a 1-1-1, one, one, one. and yeah, we'll recruit... Eh, not very good. We do have three, three siege on this guy, which is pretty nice, so we'll get some sieges done quick here, but we don't really get any bonus to shock, which isn't really that good for us. And yeah, as you guys can tell, or actually, since we have zero shock... This does nothing for us, because, yeah, we get ignored those. So, yeah, basically, we might as well just take the extra pips over here for now, just so we can, you know, work on them. And we only have the one choice for our, the, um, arti or not artillery, the, um, regular soldiers, the, um, ground units, infantry. Yeah, that's what you're called, infantry, cavalry, artillery. Awesome. Yep, so that should actually do it pretty well for us, and as soon as I am able to, we are going to declare war over here on the Dolkador, because actually, nope, you're just guaranteed by Georgia. Okay, so still can't do that one. We can, however, declare war on Dolkador with pretty much no problem here, and they're apparently improving relations with Ottomans. Interesting. But guess what? You gonna die. Uh-huh. Alright, so pretty easy to get in here, siege this one down, and then we can use this extra cavalry to go in and march in here and take... He did get one siege on his, so... Oh, and apparently Poland already has a Jagellion on the throne. Okay. Lovely. Move you in over there. Move you in. And, yeah, we're going to make it out of both of these before he gets his extra guys over here. So, knowing and knowing that, okay, QQ has warned us now. And there we go. We caught him, and it looks like we'll win that decisively. Let's move down over to here and chase him down. Hopefully we can kill him. Okay, we did get a tick there, and there's the warning by the Ottomans. So, yeah. That is why we need you, and we need you. Because if we don't get either one of those guys, we're basically dead from the start here, just because Ottomans will, can, and will declare war for Erzinken, and if they do early enough, they will basically just eat us 100% and we're done. And, okay, so Ottomans decide to declare against Dolkadur, and basically we're going to an annex them anyway, so that's not a big deal, and yeah, so here we go, having some fun with all of that, and yeah, let's see, yeah, because Ottomans literally have wars on this, 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 all of this stuff here, and here. Oh, and even here, I didn't remember they had the core on that, on QQ. Okay, well, we know that now. And... Trebizond claimed us. Okay. No clue why you're doing that, but we are going to basically take everything we can from these guys. And... 4, 3, 2, 1... One more. There we go. 100% them, take both of the, these cores for ourselves. And yeah, we get 61 ducats out of it, which will help our army a little bit and give us some extra stuff here. Now, I'm gonna raise these provinces, which will get us some more gold and all whole bunch of a little bit of points here, and then it also makes it cheaper to core these. So, yeah, and I get a little bit more from this one, because these are both fives. 
So that's kind of nice to have. And then you just core both of them 92. We got 60 back out of it, so it takes basically only 30 to core both of those. Which is actually pretty good for us. And then, yeah, we basically just have separatism to deal with over here for right now. And let's see. I cannot get the alliance yet, but we will take the marriage now. Over here, Golden Horde, we can get our alliance, so we'll take that. And we are now guaranteed by Mamluks, which is also nice for us. And we'll basically Royal Marry them when we have the chance. Yeah. Alright, and there we go, Royal Marriage. Alright, so that gets us into Golden Horde, and Mamluks will protect us. They won't come into our wars yet, but they will protect us if they're declared on, which is kind of nice. So, I'm going to go here on Ramazan now, and that should be a pretty easy one for us. Okay, they got a pretty good guy, but they're on Drylands, which means we get a bonus in combat. And down already, which is awesome. And I'm going to do this now, and combine those guys, because we don't really need the infantry so much. Having a little bit more cav will be nice for us, and plus when, as we combine the infantry down, it saves us on manpower as well. And we'll just build another horse over here, and ooh, stability or corruption and ducats. Well, I think we're okay on the ducats right now. Um, uh, Actually, not really, but we're getting spoils of war while we're here, so that shouldn't be too bad. Corruption. <coughs> Excuse me, corruption. We're even right now, but you know what, whatever. We'll take the extra corruption, and it will tick down for us for a little bit here. While we're over here, and... Yeah, it's not too bad could reduce inflation if we want to now, but I don't see any reason to, so. Now it just consists of, let's take these guys out, and that should work for us pretty well here, and I am just realizing I never start timing this. Okay, lovely. Um, I guess we'll do a little bit more here, and figure out what's going on with this. Yeah, we got our next cavalry into here, and gets us back up to nine. Ooh, we got a new... And we finished our mission over here with the Mamluks. Still can't take that alliance, though, so that's going to be a problem. However, we get Rival of Rival on Circassia, or improve our prestige. I'm going to go for Rival of Rival with these guys, because that is definitely the easier one to fulfill. And over here for the decision, we can either gain piety and prestige or lose piety, lose prestige, and gain money. Well, I think having the extra morale is going to help us a lot more than the tax over here. So I'm pleading, so I'm going to go this way. It also gets us some prestige, which will help us gain a few other things here as well. So that's kind of nice. And yeah, so. It's going pretty well for... Oh, and here we go. Golden... Ooh. Dang it. Dang it, Golden Horde. What are you doing that for? Golden Horde's opinion of us is goes down or lose Diplo or... They get Spy Network on us. Um, I can't really do anything with the Spy Network, so whatever. It's not like they can, like, you know, coo us or anything, so... All right, and there we go. Ramazan is now ours. Let's... Oh, and Georgia made peace with QQ, which puts them as a vassal, and... Oh, boy. That's not going to be fun. Okay. So, yeah. Um, let's come back from you, from the Golden Horde, and we'll peace out of this war. All right, and... There we go. He's back, and we'll take all your money. Got another 84 ducats out of this war, and 
doesn't really do too much to us, so I like that. And again, we will raise. We'll get 20 of each point out of this. And we will core you. 46, we got 20 back, so that's really 26. And we've got a little bit of an army and a pretty good bank account right now. So since we're not actually able to continue declaring war at this point, at this point I'm going to lower maintenance on the armies. And we'll just have you sit in the capital for now. And when we can get our alliance with the Mamluks, that will be when we need to go after QQ. Which apparently hasn't happened yet because they're still neutral to us. You know what? Friendly. I'm friendly to you. You should be friendly back. And Muscovy's already eating Novgorod. What else is new? Alright, we got a few cores here and I can make them into a state. It will cost us 0.16 ducats, but we'll make only 0 0.05 when there is no autonomy. So why would we do this? I might as well just leave it a territory permanently. Because that's never really going to produce anything for us by turning that or this into a state. Because as you can see, Dolkadur is literally these two provinces, Aleppo, or actually it's this one as well, which, so there's literally three provinces here. This one has four at least, but again, two of those are Mamluks, which we're not going to go after them, and then we can't get to that one, so those two states are kind of useless to us, and we can't really do much with them, and there we go, there's our alliance with Mamluks, so... Yeah, that's kind of awesome. You've got two good allies at this point. Circassia, we're still working on to... Get... No, I'm not giving you my trade power. But I'm still going to work on Circassia. We can get a little bit of a network with them. And what happened with Shivrin? They're still at war with... Wait. Oh, did... Oh, I guess that war just ended. Okay. No, no outcome there. Okay. I guess that's a thing. It looks like Hedges is also down here being up on Notch. And... If they weren't so far away, I would think about allying them too. But that's not really a possibility. We might as well improve with Timurids, though. Just because... Well, once we're done improving with these guys. Because... And the chance the Mamluks kind of fall away, we can get Timurids here, and there we go, we're done with me. And the tribes are rebelling in Timurids, so that's going to be kind of fun. And there we go, we're done with Golden Horde. And yeah, I think we're doing pretty good so far. It's a pretty slow start here, actually, not really being able to do too much because we have the Ottomans and QQ right net between us and yeah you know doing it declaring any more wars unless we de declare on one of the two of them we're basically declaring war on both of them at one time which is death so yeah and apparently you get one more decision uh, lose prestige and stability and try to lose loyalty. Well, I guess that's gonna have to happen, so... Yeah. Now, do I want to boost stability? I... Uh, uh. I mean, it makes these guys rebel quicker, but... They're not that much of a problem, so... And there we go, we got our territorial core over here. And again... I mean, that's a little bit more even. If we had more than just the one province in this state, it would be fine, but we can't expand that state, so it doesn't really help us. But anyways, I think that is actually going to be a good length for this episode, since I did do a little bit of explaining on what our plan actually is here that we're going to do for this, and 
next episode, I think I'm going to go over here and try to declare war on QQ, and hopefully we do well on that with the help of the Malux and the Golden Horde. Golden Horde, that's already won a war. All right, go, go over here. That's awesome. Yep, so I think... Is Ostracon? No, Ostracon's not. The Ostracon doesn't start with no guy. It's just these two, and that actually split them up. All right, so that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.